Welcome to Whaley Tires. I'm Ben, and this weekend in Tulcan, we've got the Ecuadorian Nationals. It's going to be amazing. Welcome to Tulcan, and this is Parque Ajora right in the center. It's a lovely, lovely park. And our start finish street is just over here. We've got time trials, road races, and men and women's juveniles under 23s, all of it. So I'm going to show you about the course. The start finish of the time trial is right here, and our cup tells us the Kismo sign and the obelisk. It's an 18 kilometer course, 18 and a half kilometer course. Um, the women are doing 18 kilometers, the men are doing 36. They're doing two laps. Just over here behind you, two of my favorite climbs, La Estragida and the Pan American climb. They're absolutely just incredible, They're beautiful. The start of the time trial. Pushing down this very slight incline into the wind, probably. This is the Pan American Highway and it runs all the way from Ushuaia, the most southerly city in the world in Argentina, all the way up to Alaska. So, it's not the world's longest road, but it's pretty long. Well, that's when it started. When it started. I'm not gonna have car pass in the time trial this year, unfortunately. He's focusing on the road race. As you can see, it's a little bit lumpy. And it's more than a little bit lumpy. Um, there's some bigger hills further on this way, but the big one is behind me. There we go. Vamos, vamos. The thing here is, any time trialers, they have to turn. They're going to climb all the way back up this. It's the longest climb. Climb the Our time trailers are going to come up this, this hill here, do a complete 180 and back down. They're going to hit this steep climb that we've just come down. It's about 100 meters elevation or so, it's not, it's not that much, but it's a time trial. There we go, warming up those legs, when it start is. This is the top of the final climb of the time trial. It's not difficult, it's not long, but there's still a lot of climbing in this, in this TT. So this is the finish line. That's a 3% incline on the way up. Legs are just going to be burning, burning as they squeeze out as much as possible. So you can really attack this climb. You can hit it really, really hard at the bottom here. So much speed coming off this little short descent. I'm at the base of the first climb here. It's not a difficult climb and it's maybe only 20 or 30 meters. So nobody's going to have any difficulty here. It's all going to be plain sailing, 9%. It's also far more fun going in the other direction. 30 meters climbing, 9% max. And our riders get this lovely mural when they get to the top. Here's an interesting bit. They're going to be able to do something that I'm not. And really attack onto the Pan American Highway here. Just go straight and as fast as you fucking can. But I have traffic to deal with. So none of that for me. This is in the road race. It's coming up. This little bit. Start to climb. Climb back up into tummy. It's not difficult. In the Andes they build towns on top of mountains. So there's incredibly steep climbs all over the place. Just in our own time. This is one of the most interesting bits. Our riders are going to come flying down this curve. They're going to snake right through it. It's going to be incredibly fast. They're going to just bomb through this junction, up the whole way along this bypass, where they're going to do 180 and come back down. They're then going to turn and come right back up to this massive, massive wall of a hill. 14%. Here we go. 15. Good morning and welcome to the time trial. It's going to be a fun day. We've got a little bit of rain starting here. So, who knows? It's only just starting, the, but the road's going to get wet. We've no car pass today. He's not in the time trial. He's concentrating on the road race. 
it looks like it's going to be between Casado of EF and Cepeda of Caja, Caja Rural, uh, which is one of the local teams. Cepeda is the favourite. Unfortunately, because of the way things work, it's really hard to find out information about the women's race, but I'll see what I can do. Local boy Jonathan Caicedo has taken the Ecuadorian Time Trial Championships. He gets to wear the jersey this year. Uh, Pedro just couldn't quite keep up with him. It's unfortunate, but that's how it goes. Maybe next time. He's one to look out for. And Miriam Nunez, uh, she's a women's champion. And she's from Rio Bamba, she's not local. So look out for her as well. Miriam Nunez in the competencias de Europa. A traigo el viejo continente. Que haya mucho éxito, que la luzca con todo el éxito del mundo, Miriam. Muy bien, señoritas. A caramba. Adonis Viva. Todo quede en familia. Que pega. Muy bien. Recibiendo su camiseta de campeón nacional, la que la va a lucir en todas las competencias del World Tour. Good morning and welcome to day two of the Ecuadorian Nationals in Tulcán. The road race is just about to begin and I don't think Carapaz is his favourite. This isn't his type of track, there's no long sustained climbs. Maybe 170 kilometres long, but all the climbs are short. <laughs> We've got our first breakaway in the men's race. Carapaz is leading the peloton. My money's on Miriam Nunez from Massey Tactic again. She won the time trial yesterday. So let's assume she has the legs today. Vamos, vamos! We're about halfway through. In the men's race, we've got a breakaway. Uh, AF has stacked the pack, and uh, they've got at least three riders in there with Carapaz included. He's not doing any work. In the women's race, it's a bit more difficult to tell because we've got the juveniles and we've got uh, the under 23s mixed up in it. So, either there's a solo breakaway or two, or Miriam Nunez is leading the pack. Pedos. Oh, like okay, I said, and a two from Brighton Hill. Richard, ¿no? Richard, es Richard Carapaz quien atacó. Efectivamente, 
atacó. Vamos a ver esa diferencia de cuánto es. Ahí se va, ahí, ahí Richard lo va a calcular. Ahí van, 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 Todos quieren esta fotografía, ¿verdad? Todos. ¡Puro, no se escucha! A, la... a Richard Antonio Carapaz Montenegro. So there you have it. I don't think Anna B. Barr put in any work in the last 10 kilometers, but she still won. I'm not sure if that's right, uh, but it's national championships, you've got to do what you do. Let me know in the comments below whether you think it's right or wrong. Carapaz though, definitely put in some work with that last attack, and it almost didn't pay off for him. He was definitely taken, almost taken on the hill by Cepeda. Uh, great race. No, couldn't even fit a cigarette paper between them. Um, so I've got to fix some tyres, it's puncher repair time, uh, but like, comment, subscribe, subscribe to my st sub stack and uh, follow me on all the other channels down below. It's been good to see you and enjoy the ride. Ciao! Egyptian, Egyptian?